Now let's move on to the next question, question number 10. So the function f is defined by f of x equal to this, okay, where x is between the value of 0 and a, okay. Now we have to express f of x in this form, so pretty easy, step by step. First we have 2x squared minus 12x plus 13. Now we have to check the coefficient here of x squared is 2, we have to make this become 1, so we factorize 2 outside. That will become x squared minus 6x. And for this one, I just can I can just leave this outside. We don't care about this one. Okay. Now because this is one here, we can proceed to the next step. Now we have two here. That should be x squared minus six x plus something. The value here is six. We plus six divided by two square. Now when you have when you uh, when you plus something, you also have to minus the same thing, right? So you don't change your equation. That makes sense. Now, because it was inside the bracket, we also have to give it the value of 2, right? Now, simplify. x squared here, we have to write x. Here we have minus, we write minus. Here we have 3, we write 3. And here we have square, we write square. Now, that will be plus 13 minus the value of 36 over the value of what? So here we have minus 2. That will be 4. Cancel out. You have 2 remaining here, right? If that makes sense. So let's try. 6 divided by 2, square times minus 2, should be minus 18. So here we have 2, x minus 3 squared, 13 minus 18 should be minus 5. Okay, so here we have this in this form, where the value of a is 2, b is minus 3, and c is minus 5, by comparison. That will be part 1 of the question. Now for part 2, state the value of a, for which the graph this has a line of symmetry. Okay, so let's see where can we have a line of symmetry. If you observe, because for this kind of question, usually we have to look at the shape of the graph. Because here we have 0, let's replace 0 first in the equation. What is f of 0? You will have um, replace 0 here, or 0 here even, that will give you 13. If you understand, the shape of the graph will be something like this. For example, it is something like this right because here you have for the value of sorry this is zero here okay it is not like this because it is from zero so we have passed the value of zero we have to make something kind of accurate for you to understand so zero here will be something like this right so zero here that will be 30. now this is my first point and my value of a should be somewhere over here now my idea of that is i would need to choose a value of a for which my curve will have a line of symmetry. Now there's two ways of doing that. Obviously I understand this point here also have to be 13. However, pretty easy way as well is we can look at this distance. This and this will have to be the same. What is the point over here? Let's find out. The point over here is simply the minimum x value, right? Because that's the minimum point. And by observing this equation, that value is when x minus 3 have to be 0 x will be 3. So the value here will be 3. So this is 3. This also have to be 3. So 3 plus 3, that should be 6. So the value of a will be 6, for which you will have a line of symmetry. Okay, I hope that makes sense, right? Now, uh, for part 3, uh, when the value of a has this value, find the range of f. The range of f is the y value of f. So by observation, you can see the value of f is between those two, between this point here and the max value here. So the point here is what? Let's find out. This is the point when the value of x is 3. That will be the value at the end, which is minus 5. So f, or the range, you can write y, between the value of minus 5. That's the minimum value here, 3 minus 5. And the max value is 13. That is part 3 of the question. OK. now. Here we have function g is defined by this. Again, it is the same equation, right? Same thing. 4x is more than 4. Explain why g has an inverse. It is true because it is a one-to-one -one function. This is always going to be the answer why they have an inverse or why they don't have an inverse. If they have an inverse, it is a one-to-one -one function. If they don't, it means they, do, or they are not a one-to-one -one function, okay? Now again, just to explain, 
because the graph was this shape before for this domain. Now, because we changed the domain now, only after the value of 4, the graph will look something like this. That makes sense. Now, as you can see, if I want to draw a line, I have only one point of intersection, and this means a one-to-one -one function. Compared to here, if I want to draw a line, you have two points of intersection, and that will not be a one-to-one -one function. Now, because of that, we conclude, in this case, it is a one-to-one -one function, and because of that, it has an inverse. Now, part four, obtain an expression in terms of x for g inverse of x. So step one, let y equal to g of x, which is this one. 2x minus 3 square minus 5. Now we have to make x become the subject. So first thing first, and this over here, you will have this plus 5. That will be 2x minus 3 square. x minus 3 square should be y plus 5 divided by 2. x minus 3 should be plus minus root of y plus 5 over 2. So finally, x will have to be 3 plus the value, or minus, y plus 5 over the value of 2. Now in the end, uh, we have to choose, right? In this case, x have to be 3 plus the value of this over 2. Sorry, that will be g inverse of x. Because the domain here is more than 4, it has to be always be positive here. That's why we have to choose this value. 